Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to use AirDrop on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. In this video, I'm going to let you know what you can and can't use AirDrop for, and show you how to use it on all of your AirDrop compatible Apple devices. I'm also going to show you a cool trick to put AirDrop on your Mac's dock, so stay tuned. So first of all, what is AirDrop and what do you use it for? AirDrop is an ad hoc network service that lets you wirelessly transfer files over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi between iOS devices and Macs. It's the perfect tool to share a picture of your iPhone with a friend. When you're using AirDrop between iPhones and iPads, you can AirDrop photos, videos, contacts, passbook passes, voice memos, map locations, and everything else that appears on a share sheet. You can even AirDrop from your iPhone to your Mac, or vice versa. When using AirDrop between two Macs, you can send virtually any file as there's no file type or size restrictions. To use AirDrop on your iPhone, you'll likely need to turn it on the first time you use it. The easy way to change the settings or turn it on is to go to Control Center, 3D Touch or Long Press the Wireless section in the upper left and press AirDrop. The AirDrop options will appear. It's pretty simple, you can turn it off, turn it on and share or receive only with people on your contact list, or turn it on to share and receive with everyone. I usually leave it on in the contacts only mode myself. The process to turn AirDrop on for iPad is very similar. Open Control Center and long press the wireless section in the upper right and press AirDrop. The options presented are the same as they are for your iPhone. Once AirDrop is turned on, sending a file is really simple. In this example, I'm going to send a Pages document to my iPad from my iPhone. In Pages, I'm going to press the three dots in the upper right and then choose the Share option to get the share sheet. You'll be able to see who you can AirDrop to in the AirDrop section. So in this example, I'm going to share the document with my iPad as I stated earlier. So simply choose BERT iPad and the file sends. See how easy that is? When using AirDrop on your Mac for the first time, you may need to adjust the settings same as on your iPhone or iPad. To do this, open Finder and choose AirDrop in the left-hand column. The settings are in blue at the bottom of the window where it says, Allow me to be discovered by. You can click on the little down arrow at the end of the statement and you'll be presented with similar options to what's on iOS. No one, which essentially turns AirDrop off, contacts only, and everyone. Again, I keep mine on contacts only, but of course you can change this at will. Once it's set up, using AirDrop on your Mac is pretty simple. I'm going to AirDrop a picture from my Mac to my iPhone in this example. One thing to note is that there are many different ways to do this. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest. Right click or control click on the file you want to AirDrop, then go to share and choose AirDrop. The AirDrop window that comes up may take a moment to populate. Once the person you want to send it to pops up, then simply click them and that sends the file. See how easy and convenient that is? AirDrop really is super handy. It works with almost any Mac running OS X Yosemite or later that's from 2012 or newer, and even some select models that go back to 2010. For iOS devices, it works on iOS 8 or later and requires at least an iPhone 5 or later, fourth generation iPads or newer, including all iPad minis and iPad Pros, and will even work with fifth generation iPod Touches or newer. If you find you use AirDrop a lot on your Mac, there's even a pretty simple way to put AirDrop on your dock. Open Finder and click on the Go menu, and then choose Go to Folder. Then you can either copy and paste this location string in the Go to Folder box that'll leave near the top of the description below, or you can type it in if you like. Slash system, slash library, slash core services, slash finder.app, slash contents, slash applications. Once the location string is in the box, press the Go button. In the folder that appears, simply click and drag the AirDrop app to your dock. And voila! You now have a quick shortcut to AirDrop right on the dock, making it super simple to adjust your AirDrop settings at will. AirDrop is such a handy, convenient feature in the Apple ecosystem that I use it multiple times a week. After a while, I noticed I'd take it for granted now, and would find it really inconvenient if it wasn't around anymore. Hopefully now, you'll get more use out of this innovative feature as well. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.